The judgment handed down by Chief Justice Acting Roxon George in the case of Masinga Jones versus the Guyana Elections Commission, GCAM, is being described as comprehensive and detailed by the private sector commission. The PSC said it was particularly pleased with the manner in which Justice George ruled on the matter of the validity of the recount and on the relationship between the Chief Elections Officer and GCAM. It now calls on Chairman of the Guyana Elections Commission, former Judge Claudette Singh, to declare the winner of the March 2, 2020 elections without further delay. The Private Sector Commission therefore wishes to encourage the Chairman of GCAM to sanction no further delay in arriving at the declaration of the election's results from the recount and to move with all due haste to the swearing in of the newly elected President of Guyana, the statement from the Commission said. These calls are being made even as the incumbent APNU AFC coalition has given oral notice that they intend to appeal the decision for the delaying the almost five-month-old elections process. The PSC said it noted that the Chief Justice specifically ruled that JICA must declare the results of the elections only from the data of the recount and that the view expressed that any irregularities would have been addressed by an elections petition. The coalition wants the results to be declared using the 10 declarations from returning officers, including the fraudulent report of Claremont Mingo, which was prepared to hand them a victory. But Mingo's declarations were dismissed by the Chief Justice in her ruling. The Private Sector Commission has also noted that the Chief Justice has ruled that the Chief Elections Officer is subject to the direction and control of the Commission in submitting his report to GCAM. But the Coalition maintains that the CEO, Keith Lowenfield, is not subject to the direction of GCAM and supported his previous reports where he single-handedly invalidated hundreds of thousands of votes to deliver a false victory for the coalition. The Caribbean Court of Justice ruled two weeks ago that the data from the recount needed to be used to declare a winner. The recount shows that the main opposition, People's Progressive Party, won the elections by over 15,000 votes. In wake of this, and despite calls from numerous international organizations, President David Granger has refused to concede. Over to you, Avinash.